and we have Mark there, he's working on a drive shaft. Sounds good, man. I mean, it'll be interesting because just for the reason that I've never really seen a comparison of a, a boosted uh, a V6 boosted before, and after, before and after of ported exactly. intakes. Because the yeah. V6 Cyclones, the 3.7s, they love exhaust modifications, which we already did. Yeah. We did the Catholic. We saw big, big numbers on that. Yeah, we did. So that's definitely. really good. Yeah. Right that's now, a, that's a good be, sign. <laughs> yeah, right now, the numbers are going to be lower, so just want to keep that in, yeah. in, in, in mind. And the reason being is because now that we moved to a new building, I had to recalibrate everything. Yeah. And um, I don't know the science behind it. I talked to Don and Colin, the engineers, the software engineer, whatever, and they told me, hey, you know, power differences and all that stuff, you know, where you get your voltage from something. I don't know. Yeah. But it, Basically said, as long as it compares before and after, you know, and you do an inertia versus loaded, yeah, that's it. Cool. We'll we'll go ahead and see what happens. Yep. So <laughs> we're very interested in seeing it. Yeah. So before numbers right now, because maybe when we did your pools, it was a cooler day, or it yeah. was a hotter day, or whatever the case may be. True. Now that it's a different day, different building, different whatever, you know, things will change. Yeah. So definitely. we'll do it before and after. Cool. All right. Sounds good. And we have Mark there, he's working on a drive shaft. And as you can see there, the clutch. That's what he's working on today. So, what's up, Mark? What's going on? All right, guys, so we're going to be starting this one up. This uh, 5.0 swap, uh, new edge. And if you guys can recall, I had been on the channel uh, a few times. So, it's, it's going to move on its own power and everything. So, that's going to be pretty cool to see. here too so another thing guys uh nafa i'll put his instagram below he also ports heads on other cars so if you need some porting done you know go ahead and bring it in but the car in there because they're going to do the porting and they're it will be on the dyno as well to um oh yeah there we go yeah just disconnect it yep and then i'll go ahead and start adding the straps and all that stuff and we'll go cool i don't know yeah i already calibrated the dyno so it could be 100 percent and basically it's not calibrating the dyno so it could be numbers loaded versus inertia yeah basically um fall within each other I've already tested so many parts with it. We had a car here for, I think it was like four or five hours just to do everything. Wow. Yeah, we had to learn everything. Yeah. Yeah. Your car after that had been fantastic. Everything was badass. Yeah. And that's one of the things that a lot of people end up uh, not doing is the fact that, uh, what the fuck are these things? Was it the front? Yeah, the front. <laughs> it's a manual. Okay, guys, so. We're, like like Luis was saying, we're going to get some comparison numbers and we'll see what kind of numbers it puts down. You guys hear that? <laughs>
it lost the RPM signal. RPM signal, yeah. Because if we go to moving one to where we usually have it at, yeah. You can tell right away that it was following the exact same path. Same path. Maybe just a little bit more than yeah. uh than the than the previous one. Yeah. But let's see what the power Oh yeah, dude, is. that can't be right. No, that's, oh. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's measuring 616, that's impossible. Yeah. So before the lost signal, we were, we're actually about six horsepower higher. Really? But yeah, we were actually six horsepower higher. So 473, 470 towards the top end, it was gonna be, actually it's, I think it was gonna be about the same, man, because if you come over here, we're at the exact same, well, not exact, but oh, 452, 447, so we're uh -huh. pretty close, man. Oh, okay. So either way, what I'm going to do is, we're, we're gonna go ahead and adjust that RPM. Yeah, but, yeah. And then what I'm going to do too is, I'm gonna do another run, the exact same. It yeah. might get a little bit more power. Yeah. I'm not gonna do loaded right now. Yeah. If everything works out badass, then we'll do a loaded one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty loud, right? Once you get on it, it freaking... But we basically made the same numbers. If anything, we probably made a couple horsepower more or less. Yeah. But about the same. The curve was the same until yeah. we lost the signal. Until we lost so it. let's go ahead and do another. And that's, pump. mind you, that's with stock fuel pump. And with um, with this temperature. Man, and the temperature, it's super hot. 90 degrees, 46 percent humidity. So I mean, it's a yeah, yeah. So, so Luis Ortiz out here making some great numbers on these V6 Cyclones, guys. So yep. I'll, I'm definitely remember. Just uh, there's a link will be under uh, under description. So make sure you go follow him if you need any tuning needs. Throttle body, and also, I'll, I'll guys, Nafa. He also doesn't not only, things, but you know, different uh, vehicles as well. and actually we got two more horsepower so that's pretty that's pretty cool yeah so these numbers are very repetitive like i said yeah loaded none loaded, loaded. it's gonna give me the same the numbers same numbers and it's like i said man it's basically because we actually took the time to go ahead and get everything situated yeah right? a lot of uh dino shops or whatever they have an egg break they just install it send it and that's it they don't actually have to uh they don't actually take the time to go ahead and make sure everything is 100 percent yeah. You can see it right here, man. Yeah, How... definitely. It looks awesome, man. Look at... I mean, it's very, very consistent. Yeah. So, like I said, these are uh, real-world numbers, man. So, yeah. That's pretty cool. We'll see what she does, man. So, I'm going to let Nafa do his thing. Yeah. And we'll go from there. All right. Sounds, sounds good. All right, guys. So, right now, Nafa's removing the lower intake manifold. This piece right here, we had to unscrew these screws right here. And, you know, you can push this with the, with the pry bar which is this one right here and uh yeah so again guys we didn't know nafa will be doing the upper and lower uh porting and the throttle body so big shout out to him um you know he's gonna get that done we're gonna see how much power the car will make with that and we're really looking forward to it i think tomorrow we'll be able to dyno it see what numbers it puts down all right guys so this is the upper intake for the for the v6 this is the lower and the throttle body with the oh we have it over there so um this is the stock lower uh stock throttle body that we're going to be using for now we will be upgrading it to a 5.0 throttle body and uh but for now he's going to be porting this uh lower uh the lower intake for now